Can you believe that horseshoe crabs, these ancient creatures that have been around for over 450 million years, are now worth millions of dollars? Here's the thing. They aren't just collected for research. They're used to make life-saving medicines. But with such high stakes, is it really sustainable? Are we putting these ancient creatures in danger? And the twist is, despite their importance in medicine and conservation and propagation efforts, people still often hunt them for food. Why? Let's dive into the dramatic and controversial world of horseshoe crabs to answer all the questions. Horseshoe crabs are arthropods of the family Limulidae and the only surviving Xiphosurans. Despite their name, they are not true nope. crabs or even crustaceans. Nope. They are helicerates. The reason why they get their name is that their shape somewhat resembles that of a horseshoe. Most are marine, though the mangrove horseshoe crab is often found in brackish water. Horseshoe crabs primarily live at the water's bottom, but they can swim if needed. In the modern day, their distribution is limited, only found along the east coasts of North America and South Asia. Horseshoe crabs are often caught for their blood, which contains limulus amebocyte lysate, a chemical used to detect bacterial endotoxins. Additionally, the animals are used as fishing bait in the United States and eaten as a delicacy in some parts of Asia. Horseshoe crabs usually hang out at the bottom of the water, but they can definitely swim. You'll often see younger ones swimming around, and they also do it when they're heading to the beach to find a mate. Female horseshoe crabs are usually bigger than the males, about 20 to 30 percent larger. Horseshoe crabs primarily eat worms and mollusks living on the ocean floor. They may also feed on crustaceans and even small fish. Foraging usually takes place at night. When it's time to mate, the smaller male latches onto the back of the larger female using special claws. Then, the female digs a hole in the sand and lays thousands of eggs, sometimes as many as 30,000. During the breeding season, horseshoe crabs travel to the shallow waters near the shore. They usually lay their eggs on beaches and in marshy areas around high tide especially when the moon is full or new.
Horseshoe crab eggs are a vital food source for many migratory and shorebirds. These birds rely on them for survival. Of course, we can't ignore the need for horseshoe crab eggs for other purposes. A certain number of eggs will be collected for breeding programs. Horseshoe crabs are facing serious trouble due to several threats. Habitat destruction from coastal development, overfishing, plastic pollution, and the demand for their meat and use in medical research are all putting them at risk. The horseshoe crab's artificial insemination and induced spawning have been done since the 1980s. Additionally, eggs and juveniles collected from the wild can easily be raised to adulthood in a captive environment. Baby horseshoe crabs begin their lives as a trilobite larva, a name given due to their resemblance to a trilobite. Upon hatching, larvae typically measure around one centimeter long. The larvae appear like minuscule adults. Baby horseshoe crabs can swim and burrow in sediment after emerging from their egg. As baby horseshoe crabs grow, they shed their old shells, a process called molting. During these molts, their tails get longer, and they finally grow all of their gills. With each molt, the juvenile will grow about 33% larger. Once they are big enough, they will release these little horseshoe crabs back into the sea to grow naturally. To help these amazing creatures, breeding centers were established. They breed horseshoe crabs and then release thousands of them back into the ocean every year.
Horseshoe crabs have unique blue blood containing special cells called amebocytes. These cells are used to create limulus amebocyte lysate, LAL, a substance crucial for detecting harmful bacteria in medical products like vaccines and injectable drugs. To obtain LAL, horseshoe crabs are captured, bled, and then released back into the ocean. While most survive, the process can be stressful and impact their health. The amount of blood drawn and the handling can weaken them, potentially affecting their ability to reproduce. The horseshoe crabs spend between one and three days away from the ocean before being returned. As long as the gills stay moist, they can survive on land for four days. Since there's no perfect replacement for LAL, which comes from horseshoe crab blood, their blood has become incredibly valuable in medicine. This was especially crucial during the COVID-19 pandemic, where LAL was used to make sure vaccines were safe, helping to prevent infections. But at what cost to the horseshoe crab population in the wild? Horseshoe crab harvesting has become a significant issue. The harvest isn't just for the pharmaceutical industry, though it's also used in scientific research and even as bait for fishing industries. After the blood is drawn, the horseshoe crabs are typically returned to the sea. While many survive, the stress of capture, bleeding, and handling can be significant. Unfortunately, this process can lead to mortality, and in some areas, horseshoe crab populations are declining. Even though they don't have a lot of meat, horseshoe crabs are considered a delicacy in some parts of Asia, especially East and Southeast Asia. The meat is white and has a slightly rubbery texture, a bit like lobster with a hint of saltiness. Only certain types of horseshoe crabs are safe to eat. There have been cases of people getting food poisoning after eating mangrove horseshoe crabs because their meat contains a poison called tetrodotoxin. Besides the meat, horseshoe crab eggs are also considered a delicacy. But just like the meat, 
Only eggs from specific species are safe to eat. What do you think about this? Let's discuss in the comments.